Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Build Tune Race. Today I'm going to show you how I set up the data log in the Holly FI on the Camaro. I set it up based on throttle percent of input, so then like when I roll into the burnout, it'll uh, activate the data log. So I'm going to show you how I set that up now. So what you want to do is come over here and go to Holly V5, and then I'm just going to open up a past tune that I've had. Um, if you just open up your base tune or whatever, but you come up here and you go to data logging, set up ECU logging, and then this is where you can see I have it set up. 25 frames a second, the more frames a second, the more resolution, but also the bigger the file. Uh, I go 60 seconds long for drag racing just in case, you know, after the burnout they see some fluid on the car before me, they got to wipe it up, whatever, and they have me sit there, um, which it would still re-trigger if not. Um, usually in my burnout, I'll roll complete to full throttle. Once the uh, turbo lights and it's a good burnout, I'll back off, but that is the trigger point. If you don't need 90% throttle in your burnout, maybe it's 50. I'd set that to 50, but it's TPS greater than 90%. Um, you have a bunch of other things like when don't pressure hit something or knock, speed, target air, fuel, all sorts of different things if you're just trying to uh, make sure you're targeting or data logging a certain thing. Um, also, when you're just out and about, you can reach up here and just click this little toggle um, logging status button and then that'll start a data log as well. Stop it and save it if you're trying to do it manually. But if you're out driving the car by yourself, it's best to come in here and do what I did and uh, set up EC logging and then that gives you this. Now, once this is set up, you can test this in your garage by even going like 10% throttle. The car can be off and then you can uh, just roll into the throttle and check it and make sure it's working. But once you've uh, made a pass in the car, you come back and go data log, download ECU data logs, and then have your cable connected. We'll need to put the ignition on, which I'll go ahead and do. The ignition is on, you come over here, so you just got done making a pass, you open up your uh, Holly software, download from ECU, it will download the tune that's in the computer. Then before, you don't want to be online, you just want it to be sitting right here. Then data log, download ECU data logs, and usually it's the last one. You can also sync time with ECU and it'll give you the date and everything. This would be my last data log. I'm going to go ahead and hit download. Alright, so that takes about a minute to download. So the download is complete. Go ahead and close this. Go up here to data logs now. Open data log. And you usually got to find it in here. It'll be under data logs. Then this is the last one that's that same number. I usually come in here and rename so you can remember when it was. Um, last pass of 19. And then once that takes, come in here, open it up. And here's the data log. So you can see like, here's where it triggered, right into the burnout, or this might have been something goofy actually, because uh, it probably restarted once I rolled into the throttle. So 90% throttle, starts to come up, two-step, and this is, if you guys remember back to that last video, uh, the car ended up spinning. So it launched here at nine pounds of boost, and then came up, and then this is where I pedaled. Green is TPS, um, red is RPM, Purple is boost, and then on out the back, it's uh, around 20, and then I ended up lifting because uh, it was over anyway. So that's how I set up my data log. It works out really well if you're just even playing with sensors in the garage, or after you make a pass, or all of that, you just, uh, it'll log all the parameters for you. I plan on getting more in depth in that in the future with showing you guys how to set up the template, how to adjust and look at certain parameters because some of them aren't already set up in the log, um, but they all get data logs. So it's just pulling them over and showing them uh, on the screen. Uh, you can set up different tables. You can set start times to like view a pass, see how long it took in a sense, um, but you just cut it where you uh, lift. So that's always thrown off a little bit, but otherwise pretty cool. Uh, lots of information. Data logs are amazing. They show you everything you need to know. So if you guys would like to see more Holly FI stuff, let me know in the comments below kind of what you're thinking. I'd like to do little tidbits of uh, information like this, little how-tos to help you guys get going at home. And if you'd like to see more of those videos, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.